Hey, I'm Jim Richards. Hope you're having a great day today. If not, hope I can give you some truth that's going to help your day. Because you know something? Jesus came that we might enjoy life to the fullest. So I want to do everything I can to make sure you enjoy life to the absolute fullest. You know, one of the questions people present to me sometimes, particularly about, about the end, they say, look, every generation since Jesus was resurrected has believed that he was going to come back during their lifetime. Why, you know, why, we're no different for them. Why should we think Jesus is going to come back in our lifetime? Well, you know, absolutely, that is true. But here's something really interesting. One of the tendencies that people have, and that the churches always have, is to create theologies based on circumstance and current events. And circumstance and current events really just involve the, the events within your knowledge of the world. So people in Europe that had a knowledge of what was going on in Europe, they developed theologies that were based on what they saw happening. And the real truth is they didn't see what was going on in the world. In other words, and now, you know, the United States has been one of the worst, I'll tell you, uh, to think that based on what happens to the United States is going to determine what happens and determines when the Lord is going to come back. Well, there is one difference, however. Number one, we, if you know the science, if you know the Bible, if you don't, I can teach it to you. By the way, I have a course in our Impact International School of Ministry uh, called Eschatology, and it teaches all about how to understand the end times and how to prepare for the end times. But here, here's the thing. We have incredible insight into the G teachings of Jesus today that a lot of people didn't have. We understand things about the Word of God that really the church has pretty much either perverted, twisted, or ignored until, until recent years. Uh, but even more than that, because of the Internet, we actually, for the first time in world history, have a global view of everything, and we can see what is happening in the entire world. If you know the signs, and you know what? I have five messages that I have shared that are free at impactministries.com where we're talking about understanding the times, recognizing what's going on so that you know what to do. If you understand the times, you have a view to the whole world that no other generation has ever had. And we can look at what's happened and say the end is definitely near. I want to share with you not just about the fact that the end is near, but I want to share with you about how to know how to prepare. So this is just doesn't take you by surprise. And, you know, preparation, all those things, if, if we prepare and it doesn't happen, great. We live a great life. But if we fail to prepare and all of these things are happening, we're, we're really going to be in a mess. You know something, if you'll click the subscribe button below, I'm going to send you an email with a link to a short message. And this is not going to be a fear-based. It's not designed to scare you. It is designed to help you know how to prepare so that these things don't take you unaware and that you are ready when they come. So be sure and click below. I'll talk to you this Thursday.